Hello there, my name is Ingus from IGS Electronics and today we're going to continue with uh, Siemens Sematics uh, V20 Dry well, in the last video we did um, a full setup with the C uh, V20 with the uh, drive commissioning and parameters and running a contro uh, local control and today we're going to be looking at uh, how to run the drive remotely with 2-3 wire connection and using an external potentiometer as well and before we get started I just we are the buyers and the sellers of industrial electronics so if you got any stock that you want to sell and you no, no longer need head to our website at igselectronics.co.uk where you can uh, go to our contact page edit all your details everything you got reserved for sale and uh, we will come back to you within 24 hours so without further ado let's crack on <music> Alrighty, before we get started with the uh, remote connection, uh, we need to select our uh, what sort of macro group we are going to be using for and the one I'm going to uh, gonna go after. And if you don't remember what the macros was, we did uh, do that in the first video. So if you go back and uh, where we did all the setup and commissioning the drive, we talked about the ma macros are. So uh, the one I'm going to be going for just for the two wire control is going to be basic connection macro CN02. There we go, hope you can see that. And that's basically is a uh, basic setup for the two wire uh, control. Be aware that uh, you still can do all the setups yourself if you want, now, like I mentioned in the last video. But why would you? If Siemens done all the hard work for you, you might as well just go and select your macro. And the macro is a CN02 for our first uh, test wiring. So for that one, we hold the M for two seconds, click M again. Uh, I think we're gonna let's try. Here we go. We've done that, and it saves them, transforms, and now it's pretty much ready to go for uh, this macro setup. So let me get all the wiring done, and we're gonna proceed with that. Okay, wiring is done. So let's proceed to explanation how the, all the wiring works in here. I'll quickly show you the diagram. The first thing I'm gonna show you is a potentiometer which well, it takes a quite a bit of a look in, in a Siemens manual to find out what sort of potentiometer you need because Siemens kind of fails to notice, uh, tell that in any of the uh, wiring diagrams and it took me uh, quite a while to find where the, what sort of potentiometer you need and, the one, and then I found the page and page 39 you see right in the bottom it's got a note on there and it says the resistance of the potentiometer for each analog input must be greater or equal to 4.7 kilo ohms. That's just, come on Siemens. Not that a lot of people will always be looking for exactly what it is, but basically it's just what it, says, what it tells you down there is any potentiometer above 4.7 kilo ohms uh, will do. And in my case, I am using a uh, 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. This is pretty much a little station I have uh, built. I'll just do it like that. All I have in here is this Siemens, uh, it's a Siemens potentiometer in here. Uh, E-stop uh, in here and uh, select the switch in here basically to get the, get the drive going. And the reason I'm using the E-stop is uh, no matter which way, this is a very crude way of building things, so uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't do the two wire system like that. But that's just basically to to show you the basic more or less how the wiring would work but sort of, and things like that. So so that's how I would use this. That's my way of. Uh, quick stopping the drive. I usually use external contactor to uh, the, uh, remove the power as you can see down there. This guy down here. I use the external contactor to remove the power from the drive. No, not, not from the drive, from the motor in event of a uh, emergency. Let me quickly run through you a uh, this uh, wiring diagram for the, for the macro uh, 2. If you, let me just grab the screwdriver so I can point things out. As you can see down there, and it says in an air, you have to select what you're going to be using, PMP or NPN. And it says both PMP and NPN can be realized with the same parameters. So you can change, blah, blah, if you can read down there the, the, to, to decide what mode it is. And that mode is decided here between, the, for the PMP, 12 and 14 has to be a, have, a, have a jumper in. As you can see down there, I have a jumper here to bring, bring around to telling the drive that you are using PMP. And if you go in for the NPN, you need to join 12 and uh, 13 together and that will tell the drive um, you, you pretty much you're using the NPN mode. So uh, just bear that in mind, you need to make sure that the 
potentiometer is uh, 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 not potentiometer. What am I talking about? Uh, that, that that little jumper is in it just to tell the drive what sort of uh, uh, connection you are using. And another thing, right? You can still, as you can see, you can uh, do the jog for jog forward on eleven fault acknowledgement. You can do on uh, ten. And a nine, you can go reverse, and then an eight, you can do on and off. I'm basically going to show you just very basic wiring for two-hour system, which is going to go forwards. And you can have a selector switch added to it, and pretty much uh, get 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 all these things wired in if you wish to. But for the for the test purposes, basically what we're going to do is that. So uh, to uh, and the wiring works very simple, as you can see. I have 24 volts. Oop. With the Siemens, with the Siemens uh, potentiometer, because it's sort of made by the Siemens, it really matches the drive as well. So it's got numbers in here. I'm not sure you're able to see. It's like one, two, and three around, and they really match up the one, two, and and in our case, it's actually because we need a zero on that and a five. But one, two matches, and obviously the last one is left is uh, went into the five. So that, those three wires go back to 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 uh, uh, one, two, and five. And then I have 24 volts from uh, which number do you want it? from the 24 volt terminal, and that terminal's got number. Uh, it's buried somewhere underneath. I think, it's, I think it's 13. But anyway, from terminal 24, it's coming to my e-stop, goes through my e-stop, and goes through my selector switch, and goes back to digital input one. Very simple, very crude. Red, uh, gets you going. So all you need to do now: selector switch, and it's actually just like that. There we go. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, how we do the the basic two-wire connection. And in an event of emergency, I could do that and rather than try to flip the switch and then and, and, uh, it shuts the drive down. But when I mean, you open it like that, it will start running again. So be aware, you always need to make sure you do that. As it's a very crude way of showing how to get that two-wire going with a macro group two. The next one we're going to be trying is, uh, I call it that uh, three-wire control. And we can basically what we need to do is uh, change the macro group. And if you remember from the last video, now if you want to change the macro group, we sort of need to reset the drive. So uh, let's get that going. And quick demonstration how we how to do it. Uh, because we already done that in the last video, so I'm not going to get into too much of a detail. But again, uh, we click the M, just the pulse. I go to the 10. Okay, change that to 30. Okay. Straight one is right after that. They changed that to two, not to, to two, it's to one. Press OK, and now the drive has been reset. So what basically what I need to do now is uh, edit all the uh, motor parameters again, and basically run the commissioning again. And then we're gonna I'll quickly show you how to uh, jump in the next group we'll be using. Right, I have set up all the all the motor data back in. So uh, now we're going to select our uh, macro group. Hold it for two seconds. Uh, press M again. Then we our macro group. The one we're going to be using is macro uh, macro connection seven. I call it group or connection, whichever way you. Is this one? There's another one uh, that they can do the same functions, but it's a little bit different. So that that will be demonstrated in the next video. So with this we're going to be use this function, this group to do our uh, a uh, three wire connection. So let's go for a seven. Okay. Um, is running his aids to save it. So uh, now all I need to do now is uh, obviously the, this comes with the potentiometer. So you already know if the potentiometer is there. So let me do redo all the wiring for the three wiring system, and I'll show you how that works. Right, wiring is done. So let me show you how it's all done in here. It's very very straightforward. Let me just actually show you all that on the a, uh, a uh, manual. It's how that would look in a manual. Okay, as you can see down here, my I, I am using a PNP, so don't forget that because they did no longer tell you. Please select MP and PNP. They only show you in the first and the first page of the macros. So just make sure you get that uh, uh, 12 and 14 close or whichever uh, uh, connection you're using. So in here, on there, I got 24 volts going up to the stop button. From stop button, uh, it goes straight to the, which is a normally closed contact, as you can see down there. And he uh, fully uh, closes down the digital input one. So uh, from uh, uh, server time, the digital input one will be uh, broken. So it will it will it will stop the drive. And as you can see, at the forward and then uh, on uh, on the D two and then uh, reverse on D three. And both of them are working on uh, and uh, on a pulse. 
and uh, you still can have a fault acknowledgement pulse as well down there and I can show you and obviously you can use all your analog output digital outputs and and so on and then a fault acknowledgement things like that down the bottom if you want to choose though so in the wiring how that looks is potential but I already show you how that works so we haven't done much of a changes down there so oh well, it looks very wiry so uh, I have 24 volts in there, this one come into my normally closed contact, go to the normally closed in contact and then obviously from there on it goes to digital input 1, digital input 2 and digital input 3 and it provides the power to all other uh, other contact blocks in here and then in here I've got my uh, my uh, potential amp going back to the drive as well. Uh, but bear in mind that, the, not bear in mind, if there's if there's still probably got quite a bit of fine tuning you're gonna to want to do like uh, acceleration deacceleration times and then uh, uh, maximum frequency minimum frequencies and things like that. you can get them all uh, done in the fine tuning here so I showed that in the last video but you can go get the straight or all these parameters now you can do your there's everything you're gonna need are uh, pretty much in there well not everything but most of the things you want to tune up will be there so uh, without further ado let's test it so. Uh, that's all there is, is just you uh, start. Oh, that's just full speed. So as you can see, it shows the minus sign, it goes the opposite way. By stopping it, and then you can go forwards. Same thing. I love this potentiometer. And uh, by any case, you can click the other way. It will stop and go the other way. Don't really need to interlock it. So uh, that's pretty much how the three wire system works. And uh, that will be pretty much it uh, regarding when it comes down to a uh, two-wire and three-way system. Hopefully all that uh, makes sense to you. Uh, the diagrams are very straightforward and I think all the, all the macro pages start at 68, page 68, no 63. And on page 63 and from there on you can see all the macros. It is brilliant what Simon's done with this, this, this future of these uh, macro connections. It is it's, it's such a such a uh, game changer because you don't need to set all the parameters like you used to do before, which we can actually we're going to be doing a macro micro master most likely not in the next couple of videos. I've got it in here already, but it's not in the plans yet. But once we can do micro master, we'll see how that differently works. So other than that. Uh, this will be all regarding uh, two, three wire uh, mode. So if you liked the video, please like. If you didn't, don't, and uh, leave us a comment below what you like, what you don't like. And constructive criticism always helps us out. So without and other than that, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.